Chronicled HIV still presents huge challenges in the developing world, advances in medicine have meant that the number of people with HIV is beginning to decline in many countries. Recent clinical trials have shown that antiretroviral drugs, normally used to treat people infected with HIV, could also be used to prevent others from contracting the virus. This strategy is called pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP. Strategic marketing is being used to demonstrate the benefits of this preventative approach. Since 2008, Dr. Andreas Eisengerich has been working with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to investigate. One of the challenges is that it's highly controversial because pre-exposure uh, pre prophylaxis is giving drugs to people who are HIV negative. And this is controversial for a number of reasons. Number one, the whole idea of giving drugs to people who actually don't need it as such. And number two, um, because of budgetary issues. And also because uh, governments have to make choices as to which members of which user groups would take it. PrEP has never been meant to be for everyone, but rather for members of specific high-risk groups, such as injecting drug users, uh, seri-discordant couples, men who have sex with men, or sex workers. And therefore, some people, because they do not want to be associated uh, to be members of such group, are fearful and are less likely to take PrEP. In terms of logistics and also the entire PrEP program, there are some really tough questions to be answered and tackled. And the first one is, how would PrEP be rolled out? In, in, in other words, where would people uh, receive PrEP? Is it a family clinic? Um, is it um, a pharmacy? Um, and that is important because whether people can get the drug from a pharmacy or a family clinic, that will also impact levels of fear, anxiety or stigma. Andreas and his team conducted interviews with nearly 1,800 potential PrEP users in seven countries to explore how willing they would be to use PrEP products. We worked with our local researchers in the different countries uh, to design a questionnaire and really find out what are the barriers to adoption, um, what are the potential drivers that make people adopt PrEP in the future. One of the surprising findings, at least it was surprising to us, is how receptive uh, people are to taking PrEP in the future. But there's also a big element of fear and anxiety and therefore any program would have to involve a very clear and transparent communication strategy. Being open about the po possible side effects and also what PrEP can do for the people. As part of their research on the uptake of PrEP, Andreas and his colleagues also interviewed policymakers, healthcare workers, and NGO representatives involved in HIV prevention. PrEP is never seen as a silver bullet. That is, PrEP should always be complementary to other efforts um, to fight HIV AIDS. We now know that people would be receptive to PrEP and also have high expectations. But now we have to actually deliver on those expectations, make sure that we are respectful to people and also in terms of reducing their anxiety levels and fear.